What's up guys, Master Tech over here. Today we're changing spark plugs on a uh, 2017 Toyota Sienna. Let me show you the easiest way to do it. Some people are trying to wrap their hands around this uh, intake manifold. I personally don't like doing that, but I will go ahead and try it. And I'll show you throughout the video whether you can or you can't. Um, I tried to wrap my hand around it. I couldn't get to that spark plug on this side. I was able to get to the first and I think the second one, but I'll try to remove the throttle body and try to wrap my hand around my hand around it see if i can reach it if not we're gonna have to remove the intake manifold but let's start with those so i'm gonna go ahead and uh loosen them a little bit that one fell just to show you how to lose them and then you want to unplug them. This one's a little bit hard. Oh. Right there. And you just unscrew the rest. Five eight. Where is it? Right here. That's our five eight. Want a long extension like so? You want to put this thing right here? Yep, right on it. Want to get your ratchet? That's where the ball is. I'm tying all of them. Let's see, is that pretty well? You can remove that. Get to you in this. Put it back. magnet not too bad I'm gonna change it minimally almost oops I'll get that later it's right there if you guys can see it Get your spark plugs, put it back in. So now you want to get your spark plugs. Don't drop the spark plug. Just put it as far as you can with your hand right here. As far as you can. Don't drop it. You're going to mess up the gap. Notice how there's a specific gap right here. You don't want to mess that up. The moment it slams onto the whatever it touches down there. Boom. And then, obviously, don't put it back with an impact. You can take it out with an impact after you untie after you uh, untorque it or unbolt it but I either got to put it back with hand or with a ratchet and when it gets to tighten it just use ratchet i'm not sure what the torque spec is i think it's about 30 but you know just tighten it until you feel like it's snug and i don't want to bore you out with just me screwing this in so i'll just go ahead and cut it into until i'm tightened. okay just got to the last one so i want to show you how to tighten it and tighten like this don't extend your ratchet all the way down just you only need this torque, this much torque. So you just tighten it till you feel it's snug. Yep. Just like a, an oil drain plug. That's it. All right, let's get to removing the rear one. 
Okay, so second off, uh, we're gonna remove this intake manifold and to remove it, we're gonna have to basically move everything here. So we'll start with the uh, air duct. Two 10 millimeters in here. Let's see how easy that thing came off. I don't want these salt spot plugs, I'll put them right here. Uh, oh, this thing comes off fairly easy. I'm gonna take these vacuum lines out of these rivets right here. Or you just disconnect them straight from here, I guess. And that one is kind of hard to disconnect, so I'm just going to remove it from here. Okay, so I was able to remove it. I would just unclip this with my hand. Um, you don't have to put this back. I'll just put this to the side. And now you're going to have this. But before, I would just unscrew this if I was you. Like so. It's a little bit loose now. Then you want to actually wanna unclip this thing. I'll unclip it with both of my hands, but you get the idea. I gotta unclip this, this one as well. Um, right here. Yep. Now it's loose. Just unclip this and take this out of the state. I was able to take this out. Just use this to unclip it and just push it with the uh, flat. And then it looks so. Holding it in place. Just use this type of tool. Doesn't matter if you break it as long as it comes out of place. There you go. Now it's free. All right, so we got it off. You want to remove this duct now. Unscrew this. Literally just pull this thing back from here. And then, boom. Should go out of place. Maybe I need to untie it a little bit more. Well, it's untied enough. Uh, there you go. Now this comes out of place. Put it with your parts always. Don't lose it. Now we get to the good part. We're gonna have to remove the throttle body. To remove the throttle body, we're gonna have to unclip it. There you go. Uh, I think those are 12s or maybe they're 10s. I guess they're 10s. thing right here it's held by a 10 millimeter right there Apologies, guys. That was the wrong one. It's actually this one right here, right there. Let's see if I can get to it with this one. I need both of my hands, so let me get right back to you. Okay, now we're gonna get to uh, removing this one. I'm gonna push this back a little bit. I don't know why those always give me a hard time. There you go. Okay, now just push this grommet. Oh, I don't even need to untighten it. Right, now we're gonna remove this 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, unclip this thing, so don't forget to disconnect your battery, and then, not sure if you're gonna need to unclip those, but I'll see if we do, we don't, uh, need to, 
this. This is. Yup. Same thing goes to this, but I need to unbolt it first. So let me unbolt what I were, whatever I told you to unbolt. And I right, so, um, I was able to get there. Just literally um, um, remove all these vacuum lines from place. Unplug this as I told you. All these twelves right here. It's actually very simple. These two vacuum lines. The longest one goes to here. Uh, take it off. Um, there's a vacuum line like so right here. Um, just take it off from here right there just put it to the side it bolt it literally clipped to the uh, back of the intake manifold try to unclip it same style as those clips just remove them and uh literally just put it up and you're gonna notice that it's being held by this 12 right here right there so literally just remove that and you'll be good to take the whole thing okay so we're gonna start um with the rear spark plugs just clip right here are really really hard to get to get a flat here there we go didn't break the connector and then there's I don't know where it went look the rear This is not as simple as you think it is. take those off real quick okay so i was able to uh unclip all of them and remove all of them it's a little hard process but so what happens is these clips are really hard so you got to press extremely hard and pull back you got to use both of your hands and what i also did and what you got to do is unclip this from here and this from this one and remove it from here it would be it'll be a place for it right here right there um, the reason why is if you're trying to remove something, if you're trying to uh, unclip these coil pack uh, connectors, you might break or uh, cut one of these wires. So literally just remove this 10 millimeter as well, pull the wire back, be in the safe zone. And, you know, that way you make sure you don't ever have to replace any connectors and make this job a headache. So, uh, Let's get to removing these spark plugs. Okay, right so there. to remove the spark plugs off these uh, holes right there, right here. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but found out that if you use two three inch extensions, it might just work. Let me show you. Come over here. I'm gonna put this above this, and then you wanna feed it into the. Where's the hole? same thing applies to all three so uh, get your ratchet right here maybe just use a smaller extension uh, do the same thing for those replace the spark plugs torque them the same way i told you to torque them right here and put everything back and you'll be good to go i, uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful and uh, subscribe please to my channel for further educational videos thank you